Hi, my name is Nick Borowick. I'm a technical specialist with the SMA America Service Line, and on today's tech tip, we're going to be discussing how to troubleshoot a ground fault. First off, I'd like to explain what a ground fault is. It's an unintentional electrical connection between a DC current carrying conductor and the grounding system of the PV array. This is a potentially hazardous and unsafe situation, and that's why the inverter disconnects the flow of current when a ground fault is detected. There are two types of error messages that are associated with a ground fault detected by the Sunny Boy US series of inverters. The message that actually gets displayed depends on the timing of the fault and when it's detected by the inverter. The inverter can either detect the fault before the one amp fuse is cleared or after, and this can depend on the timing and severity of the fault. The Earth Kerr Max error message is displayed if the inverter catches the fault and opens the circuit before the one amp fuse is cleared. GFDI open is the other error message and this will appear if the inverter does not detect the fault before the one amp fuse is cleared. The process for troubleshooting a ground fault for either of these error messages is the same. There are two GFDI fuse holders in each Sunny Boy US series inverter. The fuse holder on the left is used for positive grounding and the holder on the right is used for negative grounding. Most inverters come from the factory negatively grounded, which means the fuse is going to be in the right-hand side fuse holder above the DC negative terminal block. Step one is to turn off the DC disconnect and wait five minutes for the capacitors to drain. Step two is to remove the GFDI fuse holder and check the fuse for continuity. If the fuse is cleared, you'll need a replacement KLKD 600 volt DC 1 amp fuse. Make sure to not replace the fuse until you've cleared the fault, otherwise it will blow again. Step three is to remove the black and white wires from the inverter so that they are in free air. This is the positive and negative from your PV array, and this is an essential step for detecting a ground fault as it isolates the inverter from the PV array. Next, you want to turn on the DC disconnect. This is going to put live DC voltage on these wires. Using your digital multimeter set to DC voltage, take a voltage measurement between positive and negative. This should be the open circuit voltage of your array. Next, you want to take a measurement from positive to ground. And after that, negative to ground. You should read zero volts positive to ground and zero volts negative to ground if there's no ground fault in the system. If you measure any voltage to ground, you will need to locate and fix the fault. Starting at the inverter, check each connection point going all the way back to the PV array. This may require checking the disconnect and or combiner box if you have one. With the conductors in free air, check each string positive to negative, positive to ground, and negative to ground. Again, you should get your open circuit voltage positive to negative, and your measurements positive to ground or negative to ground will tell you which string the fault is on. This should help you identify exactly where the fault is. Common causes for a ground fault are damaged or pinched wiring, a damaged module, or incorrect electrical connections. Please note, if you're having any trouble with an inverter and cannot fix the issue, contact the SMA service line from the site with the proper tools so that further troubleshooting can be done. The SMA service line phone number is 877-697-6283. My name is Nick Borowick. Thanks for listening today, and we'll see you next time.